Hello, I am Attila Turzo, an international master in chess. In this video lecture, I would like to share you some ideas about the minority attack. Actually, this is a little warm-up for the online seminar about the minority attack, which I will present for you on Sunday. So in this video, we will study a little bit about the key ideas of the minority attack. The minority attack is a typical middle game plan, which can appear in a few openings, mainly from the Queen's Gambit declined exchange variation. Let us look how the typical position appears. Why starts with d4, d5, c4, e6, knight c3, knight f6. The queens can be declined. And here white decides to capture on d5 with the pawn. Black captures back with the pawn. Bishop g5. C6, Queen C2, Bishop E7. Both players are developing E3, castling, Bishop D3, Knight E D7, Knight F3, Rook E8, castling. So we arrive to the starting position of the plan, of the structure. As the name shows, the minority attack is a special attack because in most of the attacks, who attacks has a majority of pieces of pawns. But this is a very special attack because in this situation, the player with the less number of pawns, example here with here white, The queen side pawns, the three queen side pawns, will attack the four black queen side pawns. Normally, in an attack, we should have a majority to succeed. So we need to be stronger somewhere to win in any situation. This is a rule forever true. Here it will be also true in a different point of view, because we attack with the less number of pounds, but we will support those pounds with heavy firepower of the pieces. Most of the time with rooks on the C and the B5, with the queen and other pieces. So how the minor attack appears in the pra practice? White starts to move his B pawn to B4 and B5. This way, most of the time supported by a rook from B1, attacks the C6 pawn, which uh, gives the question for black what to do. If you exchange on, on B5, then most of the time the the d5 pawn will be isolated after the exchange on b5. So that could be an ideal target. And also the b7 pawn will be a target later. If black just wait, then white will capture on c6 and then the c6 pawn, if black captures back with the b pawn, then on c6 will be a backward pawn, which could be a good target for the white pieces. So anyway, if black wait for the capture on c6, or, he, or, or if he captures with the c6 pawn, he will have a weak pawn at the end.
Normally, this is what White wants. He would like to create a target. A, a target which will be later attacked and hopefully captured. And that would lead to material advantage and winning the game. So, from this little warm-up, we can uh, draw the main strategical ideas of White, and uh, after that we will find some possible counter plans for Black. So, some main plans for White. Black would like to make a pressure on the C file attack the c6 pawn. Also, he would like to use, after the advance of the b pawn, the b file for the minor, for the major pieces, for the rooks and maybe for the queen, to penetrate to the black position. White also would like to use the c5 square by a knight which would be an ideal outpost for that night. And finally, the original plan, White would like to advance his B pawn to B5, then capture on C6 to create the weak pawn on C6. So these are the key ideas for White. And what can black do? What can be the counter plan for black? The first main plan for black could be, which uh, not many times actually played, is advancing the f pound to f5 to f4, making the similar idea, similar minority attack on the king side. The second idea, when white plays b4, then the c4 square will have no more control by the white pawn, so that can be maybe a weak square in the white camp, and sometimes black try to reach that square by a knight. For example, knight b6, knight c4. Many times for that, Black using also the B-pound to support the C4 square. The third plan for black, the third motif, is try to exchange the dark square bishop by bishop f5, because if he can exchange the light square bishop, then the e4 and the C4 squares will be weakened, and they can be maybe an ideal outpost for a knight. Connected to this plan, the fourth motive, the fourth plan for black, try to move a knight to e4 and build up a great outpost there. One other counter idea for black is to play e7, e5 to control the b4 square. And try to prevent the advance of the white pawn. And last but not least, black can try the plan of c6, c5, trying to advance the pawn when white moved uh, his pawn to b5 to try to prevent the exchange of the pawns on c6. Black can decide to move his pawn to c5. So, we overlooked some key ideas for white and uh, counter ideas for black. And I would like to invite you to our seminar on Sunday, where we will study examples about these plans for white and for black. And I also invite you to please send your games, send your examples where you have questions which related to the minority attack. 
Thank you very much for your attention. See you soon on Sunday. Bye-bye.